Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, PICA delivers first large-scale autonomous electric cargo aircraft to AFWorks, drone racing to play a part in 2025 World Games, and Uncle Sam sues drone flyer for big bucks. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. PICA delivers first large-scale autonomous electric cargo aircraft to AFWorks. Flight operations personnel from PICA and AFWorks gathered on the tarmac at New Braunfels National Airport to witness the arrival of PICA's Pelican Cargo, a large-scale autonomous electric cargo aircraft with a 400-pound payload capacity and 200-mile range, built for remote off-airport operations. This is the first delivery in a fleet of three PICA Pelican Cargo on lease to AFWorks, the innovation arm of the Department of Air Force and a directorate within the Air Force Research Laboratory, for the United States Air Force's Agility Prime program. The program will explore operational use cases for PICA's technology to address the most pressing challenges in the DAF. The California-based startup, founded in 2017 in the backyard of a Silicon Valley home, is now well on its way to create and provide solutions that could strengthen the national defense of the USA. As a large autonomous electric cargo aircraft, Pelican Cargo is able to take off and land in remote areas with minimal ground infrastructure, can be recharged in under 90 minutes, and requires few personnel to operate. After the break, Intuitive Machines launches to the moon. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Intuitive Machines launches to the moon. A suite of NASA science instruments and technology demonstrations is on the way to our nearest celestial neighbor for the benefit of humanity. Through this flight to the moon, they will provide insights into the lunar surface environment and test technologies for future landers and Artemis astronauts. At 1.05 a.m. EST on Thursday, Intuitive Machines' Nova Sea Lander launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. At approximately 1.53 a.m., the lander deployed from the Falcon 9 second stage. Another UAV-related NPRM up for comment. The FAA has opened another notice of proposed rulemaking to the public, again seeking to flesh out the legal framework surrounding uncrewed aircraft operations. The FAA seeks to combine the disparate documentation standards, requirements, and regulations into a single unified rule for drone operators, whether they operate under Part 91, 107, 137, and the like. The abstract says the FAA, quote, proposes to amend, restructure, and consolidate the falsification regulations presently located throughout Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, end quote. AMA embarks on drone soccer tournament. 
The Academy of Model Aeronautics reiterated a partnership it's held with the U.S. Drone Soccer Program, drawing additional attention to the group's STEM-focused educational opportunities. The AMA boosted a statement from USDS announcing preparations for the first district championships next month, marking off a big milestone in the fledgling activity organization. The United States Drone Soccer release said, quote, students from across the country are competing in their district qualifiers in preparation for the district championships in March, end quote. NASA announces ultraviolet explorer mission. A new NASA mission to examine the breadth of spaceborne ultraviolet light will take the form of a medium-class explorer and space telescope under the Ultraviolet Explorer, or UVEX, program. The endeavor is targeted to launch in 2030 as the next astrophysics-focused mission from the agency. The finished UVEX is expected to pivot quickly between sudden sources of ultraviolet light in the universe, capturing the explosions that follow bursts of gravitational waves that follow the merging of neutron stars. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone racing to play a part in 2025 World Games. The FAI has confirmed that drone racing is to be a feature at the World Games 2025 in Chengdu, China. Following the successful debut of the drone racing competition at the 2022 Games in Birmingham, this novel air sport is set to captivate audiences once again at the World Games, which runs from August 7th to 17th, 2025. Recognized and supported by the International Olympic Committee, the International World Games Association is a not-for-profit independent international organization comprising 39 international sports federations. The World Games is an 11-day global multi-sport event held every four years. It features sports which are not part of the Olympic Games, thus providing an important platform for athletes and promotes the selected sports to a significant audience, encouraging funding and growth. FAI has been involved with the World Games since 1997. The upcoming event in Chengdu will mark the 12th edition of the World Games and the third time an Asian city has hosted the event since its inception in 1981. After these messages, Uncle Sam sues Drone Flyer for big bucks. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Uncle Sam sues drone flyer for big bucks. A U.S. attorney, Jacqueline C. Romero, is hitting the media with the announcement that she has filed a complaint in U.S. District Court against Michael DiCurcio of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In this complaint, the United States alleges that DiCurcio operated drones, quote, unlawfully and unsafely in the Philadelphia area between at least December 2019 to the present in violation of FAA requirements, end quote. The United States alleges that DiCurcio operated flights at night in close proximity to the William Penn statue, PSFS building, and the Liberty One building. On one occasion, Romero reports that the SUAS almost struck a church steeple during flight. The United States alleges that during certain flights, DiCurcio improperly operated the SUAS inside of controlled airspace near the Philadelphia International Airport over people and cars, and in at least one instance lost control of the SUAS, causing it to fly uncontrolled over Philadelphia. 
The FAA has warned DiCurcio in writing and provided him with counseling and education regarding requirements for safe operations of an SUAS under the FARs. The United States alleges that DiCurcio nonetheless has continued to operate SUASs illegally and in a careless or reckless manner that endangers others. The United States seeks substantial civil penalties, apparently in the neighborhood of $200,000, and an injunction to prevent additional illegal conduct. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.